What's up guys? My name is Stoof. Welcome back to my painting channel. Today I have a brand new commission that I'm excited to get started on. So I thought I would bring you along with me as I get started on a commission. So, so this is the 12th hole at the Augusta National Golf Course in Georgia. This is where the Masters Tournament is held every year and Tiger Woods won in 2019. So one of my clients would like a painting of him teeing off at the 12th hole. So I'm just gonna move Tiger over a little bit. But to get started with this commission, I am going to use the grid method. So I'm gonna show you how I get started with the grid method. Basically, I already did the photo, and what I do is I blow up my photo to 24 inches by 30 inches, which is the size of my canvas here. And then I get that digital file 24 by 30, then every three inches I put a, a grid. So we have um, 24 times, or 24 divided by three would be eight. So we have eight squares going up and then uh, 30 divided by three is 10. So then we have 10 squares going across and then the, the squares and the grid just cover the whole reference photo. And then I'm gonna uh, copy that onto my canvas. Since my file is already turned into 24 by 30 inches, I don't have to do any math. I just know that every three inches I'll put a little tick mark here and then I'll draw my grid and that'll make my uh, grid on the canvas match the grid on my reference photo and then I can just sketch where everything is in the reference photo boxes onto my canvas. So we are ready to get started. Okay, so now you can see that I have the grid sketched out and it's not perfect. I, I make it like close. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to be covered up. If you're a beginner and you, you are still uh, very cautious while you're painting, you don't want anything to be off and you, you, know, you still need to work with your um, proportions, then maybe take a little more time when you're doing your first grid to make sure the uh, squares are perfect and that you don't have anything like this square accidentally got a little too big because my ruler was a little bit slanted, but I know in general where my proportions, uh, what they should look like in you know, this tree size compared to this tree in the foreground and uh, like the size of Tiger's body compared to the bridge in the background. So I already have a feel for that. So I do this just to kind of give me a general idea. Uh, but if you're a beginner, then I recommend you take a little more time with your grid to make it perfect. Uh, just so you can sketch everything out very accurately before you start painting. All right, so I didn't record the sketching process where I used my thinned down paint to sketch out the concept on the canvas by referencing the grid on my reference photograph, but here's what I did. I just took whatever was in the grid. For example, I'm showing you the upper left two grids on the reference photograph and how I transferred that information into my canvas on the right side of the image here. So I just copied whatever I saw on the left in my reference photograph and pulled it over to my canvas on the right just by looking at each individual square and how far the grass line was relative to the forest in each grid and just made sure that I was looking at each individual grid and not the painting as a whole. Looking at each individual grid and seeing how far up from the bottom to the top of each grid you need to sketch a line for a contact between grass and forest or forest and sky or outline of a person is going to be much easier than just trying to get all of the information onto one canvas accurately. So getting those little grids can make your proportions much more accurate. So now we are done with the grid method and that's the first step in starting a painting. The next step is to start filling in with some base color. And that video is coming up next. 